What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabara Toy where safety is number one priority. In case you got kidnapped and they using double lock standard handcuffs, there is a way to escape using just a bobby pin and it's actually really easy. Let's check it out how. So first of all I'm going to prepare a bobby pin. I want to get rid of this little plastic piece right here. Sometimes it's rubber, sometimes it's just a little bit of paint. So what I'm gonna do is prepare some bobby pins and, and then I'm going to keep this bobby pin in my pocket or in my hair. I don't have any neck hair so I'll just put it on my belt and use it as a survival tool. So in case you got kidnapped and the kidnapper is using this double lock handcuffs, I'm going to show you how to get out of it. Or you cannot find the keys, it's really easy to actually get out of them. So I'm going to grab a bobby pin and bend it all the way like this. Boom. So first thing we're going to do is stick the bobby pin like this, but we're going to stick it halfway. All the way you'll be touching. So halfway in and then I'm just going to bend it. Boom. Something like that. Simple. Then I'm going to flip it over and stick it all the way and bend it again. Boom. And we're going to end up with something like this. Okay, let's see how the handcuffs work. You see it's locked in. And now if we're going to grab our key, we're going to push it in and turn it. You see how it lifts up and it's open. Close it again. If we're going to turn it right here, it lifts up and it's open. What's a double lock mean? Right here there is a little pin and you see this pin is going to push forward. Boom, do you see this whole pin have just pushed forward. So let's try to open it now. If it, you see this little pin pushes into here, so no way we can open it. So now we actually have to turn it the other way. And do you see that pin completely moved the other way. And now we gotta turn it this way. Boom, now that pin lifts up. You see how it's perfect fit into here. And this is how it works, very simple. So same thing we're going to achieve with the bobby pin. We're gonna lock it on a double lock, boom. So I got my bobby pin, I'm gonna stick it in into here and all the way and push it through like this. You see how it turn and boom. You see I have moved this whole pin back into open position. You see it's not pushed in all the way and now I can take it out and the second part is a lot more simpler than that or as simple just lift it up you see it lifts up you see how much it lifts up just simple as that and now it opens Boom, and we unlocked it. Let's see if I can do it much easier than that. Boom, and it's unlocked. So one more time, as you can see it's locked. We're going to get our bobby pin, push it in, and you see it opens. Simple as that. You see, lift it up. Simple. So let's see if I can do this with the, my hands put together like that. Boom! Wow, this is awesome. Do you see that? So one is out and now the second one. Boom! Simple. That's awesome. So let's say your kidnapper is stabbed you somewhere to the pipe and your hand is still one free. So what you want to do is just push it in like this and you see it's double lock. And we want to push it in and you see this pin have popped up right here so that means we got this so now we're gonna open it same thing on this side push it in and boom easy one more time if you look in here it's on double lock that pin is pushed in so we're going to grab our so we're going to grab our bobby pin and push it in and move it a little bit to the front right here 
and just like that. Push it in, you see this little pin have popped up. So now I'm going to take it out and first lock is open. And now I'm just gonna push it this way and boom, it's done. So if somebody kidnap you and try to use this kind of handcuffs, you know how to get out of them with the bobby pin. So it's always good to have a bobby pin on you, on your belt, in your hair, uh, 